Good evening, YouTube. It is 6.25 on a Monday evening. Welcome to my living room. I actually just got home, still in my corporate attire. Some exciting news, Mike drove up from Georgia today and he's at his parents' house working on a fun project. And I think we're gonna go over there and see what he's got and see if we can give him a hand. Maybe it's the Datsun. I think it's a surprise. Either way, it's gonna be fun. But first, we're gonna finish this drink, we're gonna change out of these clothes, and we're gonna hop on over there. Look who we got here! <laughs> we're both new at this vlog. Hi, Josh. No, it's hi, YouTube. Oh, hi, YouTube. Well, this isn't a Datsun. What is this? This is my new 71 Corvette so with the 78 Indy car, pace car paint theme. Wow. Have new gas tank, new brakes. Oof. Oh, there he is. On film. There's the guy right there. He's the one that's gonna get it running. Piece of cake, man. Another 10 minutes, we'll be on the road. We'll be on the road. Ever since watching Fix It Bon Bon on YouTube and in his Milwaukee review, I decided to go buy my own. That's quality. Oh, thing fell off. Before, I was turning wrenches back like the 1900s by hand. Now, I got this. M12, rechargeable. Socket, good to go. Thank you, Fix It Bong Bong. You know, I'm pretty sure there's Dotson videos of us from like last year using that stuff. Yeah, but they don't, you edit that out. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Groove. All right, this is the official unboxing of the Milwaukee. I don't know even what this is called. Let's check on the packing slip. M18 rocket dual power tower light. Oh, cool. All right. This is the first time the internet sees how short I am. 2500 lumens, high definition, true view. Ah. All right, here's a message to the Milwaukee product managers. Make it easier to get this thing out. <laughs> ah. Dang, that looks pretty sweet. Oh yeah, you come into a job site and you just gotta... You come in there, just like... All right, how do you do it? Oh, there's instructions. This thing's 3,000 lumens. What's that? 2,500. Oh. That's 3,000? 300. 300. I was like, that looks like 300 of Chinese lumens. This is American lumens right here. Where's this made? Printed in China. This manual is made in China. <coughs> make, it, make it work, Mike. This thing is pretty sweet. It is pretty sweet. Five year warranty. Oh, all right, where's the battery go? Whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, slap that battery in. I'm trying to. Where's it go? This side, Josh. Here we go, ready? Fire up. You ready for this YouTube? It looks a lot brighter in here. I need some sunglasses. <laughs> Whoa, where's our shades? Hold on, can you go brighter? Oh, are we doing it? I mean, that's brighter. All right, we'll leave it. See how long it goes. All right, it is currently 7.13 Eastern well, Standard no, Time. Look. I'm working on this side and I can't see. No. Well. Now I can see. All right. What's this thing retail? I don't know. Uh -huh. Before, I couldn't get the brakes on because I couldn't see. Now I've seen the light. You're blinded by the light? Yeah, four piston. Wow, is that this, factory? This, yeah, this car factory is rated for things like 550 at the first cylinder. <laughs> and then drivetrain loss and all that, I think you're down to about 192. Look at that, January 91. Yep. So we got new brakes. Those are pretty big brakes. Yeah. I mean, 71 jump or disc brakes. Four wheel disc brakes. Four wheel disc brakes, it's pretty rare. Pretty unheard of. And four yeah. pots. Yeah. All right, we got Mr. T over here hand packing some bearings. Old school. That's some shade tree stuff time, right there. Yeah, this is shade tree stuff. When's the last time you've done that? I don't know, I have a tool for that. <coughs> yeah, but it yeah. wastes so much grease. It's called the palm, palm of your hand. And it cleans, cleans your hands at the same time. Moisturizes it, so. Donald was worried about it. I didn't moisturize my hands enough or something. Cause I want a hot tub, but I got, um, I fight I eczema it. a little bit. Yeah. So I get it on my knuckles right here. I don't have any there right now, but occasionally I'll get like a 
Yeah. Like a sore or something. I love hot water. <laughs> so I was just curious, and they, and they say hot water, and they tell me not to take hot showers, but I love a scalding shower. This is a great time to give a shout out to my glove sponsor. Thank you, Grease Monkey Gloves, for keeping my hands nice and clean and protected. So a new project. Yeah. How's the Datsun? Um, it's running. Holy oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Surprise it. For now. Knock on wood. I need to get dinner. Alright, I'll eat and then come back. I'll eat and come back, yeah. Alright, so we're taking a quick break to grab something to eat. Mike stayed behind to continue working on the Corvette. And uh, we're going to take you to our favorite little staple here in Chesterfield County. If you're ever in Central Virginia, specifically Chesterfield County, and you like Mexican, you can check out this place. Here it is, Mr. Pepe. I think it's related to Don Pepe, but I used to eat at this place when I was in high school. So here it is. What do you think, Don? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, Bo, what are you gonna get? Steak Mr. Pepe. I think I'm gonna get the uh, Steak Ranchero. I wonder what Mike's doing right now. What do you think Mike's doing right now? Watching his dad. So apparently, the uh, white sauce, the queso sauce there is a Virginia thing. So internet, if you go to Mexican restaurants and eat the chips, chime in. Do you get the white queso sauce along with the red salsa, or is that truly just a Virginia thing? It's a rumor that me and Donald heard about. I had a chip go down, like lodge in my throat while he's saying that. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. If you're in Midlothian, Virginia, go to Senor Pepe's, where uh, apparently the white sauce is confirmed only a state of Virginia thing. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. How do you feel about that, Donald? I love it. Glad I'm a Virginian. All right, so now uh, I guess I'm uh, going to head back over to the garage, see how Mike's doing with the Corvette, and uh, Donald's going to go home. So just to set context for what's going on in X, we kind of just showed up here. What are we doing? So you, or what are you doing to this car? Trying to get it to run. It's sat since 1991. So what is this car? Is this a barn find, or what is this? Yeah. Garage find. Garage cap 71 Corvette. It hasn't been driven in 29 years. 29 years. It's got this awesome Delco paint job on it. Doing it for Dale over here. Mike and his dad went and did a whole brake job on it. Looks like they're putting in a brand new gas tank on it. No pressurizing. All right. And this has the original. This is chrome wire covers, and I've got the chrome cover here. And you look at 90% of your Corvettes, everybody's throwing them away. That's cool. I looked at a bunch of 71s. Not one of them had all the chrome covers. Come look at this power steering. Yeah, over here, Josh. All right. Seen it. Whoa. <laughs> Look how it like, hangs out low. See how it goes. Oh, yeah. Turns with the... Oh, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. I have no idea how it works. Huh. Power. Power rack. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow's gas tank carpet. All right, tomorrow's gas tank carpet, and then uh, carburetor. carburetor. Comes on Car Wednesday. And then she gets to drive. Oh, we got to. We've got to um, service the transmission. Oh, Look at that! You even got the original glass that says Astro Ventilation. Astro Ventilation, buddy. All right. Washer, hit it. Yeah, you're trying to hit the windshield wiper. Right. Hmm. That looks like wiper. wiper I hear the right? fan going. Turn That's it back cool. on. Turn on. Yeah, turn on full. Is it blow? Something's smoking. Hold on. Oh. Kill the power? Yeah. Yeah. That's the uh, windshield wiper. Oh, is the motor trying to run maybe? Yeah. Is that what happens when it doesn't? Uh -huh. All right, so you're here all week, Mike? Yep. Till for well, Friday, Friday, Friday or something. something. All right, nice. All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, it's a school night for me. School night for me. What? All right. All right, Mr. T, I'll see you tomorrow. Are you going to school? No, we're not work. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, school night. Work. I didn't know if you were going back to school or something. No, man, as long as it took me, I can't go back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how about that? Not bad for a Monday night. Uh, we got to see Mike. Glad he's in town. He'll be here all week. 
Got to get some Mexican food. Trying out, like I said, trying out this new vlog style video. I figured, hey, I've got a car channel. Might as well try and share my entire car passion and my friends here. So uh, hope you guys like it. Let's check this out. Got a package here in the mail. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. What time is it? It's uh, 1040. So go ahead and knock this out. This is awesome. Thanks to Grease Monkey for sending me all of these gloves. Um, try out. Unfortunately, these larges are going to be a little bit too big for my hands, but I've got friends, pretty much all my friends have larger hands than I do. But they got the uh, non disposable gloves right. Looks like they're finally selling or making small, so I'll be sure to try these out. Looks like they even sent me some women's size gloves, which uh, I'm not ashamed to wear as long as they fit my hands. If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm a smaller dude. So, stoked to try these out. Be sure to look out in future videos for these. Uh, gloves and videos and whatnot um but yeah on all for a school night on a monday uh pretty action-packed mike's in town he's got a cool new corvette project car uh got some mexican and uh, it's late and i gotta go back to my office job tomorrow so like i said i'm gonna try out this new vlogging format hopefully keep it up hope you guys enjoy it please like share and subscribe uh, i'll catch you next time